Hey, everybody, and happy holidays from all of us at CatSynth TV. Today we are looking at Filtomica, a new free effect plugin from our friends at Cherry Audio. It's a standalone version of the infamous Polyvox filter from their Atomica synth. If you haven't yet seen our detailed demo and tutorial of Atomica, we definitely recommend checking that out. Link above and in the description below. Filtomica itself is pretty simple. We have the filter section, which includes controls for frequency, resonance, and response type. There are also the extended features filter drive and starve. There is the modulator, or LFO, an envelope follower, which is pretty cool, and a master section with amp drive and volume. Okay, so let's put this filter through its paces. For now, we will use a simple patch from Cherry Audio's Mercury 6 as a sound source. Let's start with the low pass and sweep the filter. Even without resonance, the filter sweep has a lot of non-linear character. Let's add some resonance now. Crank it up. And all the way up, where it starts to self-oscillate. Yeah, it gets a little crazy there, but that's what the Polyvox filter was infamous for. Let's try the bandpass. With medium resonance. High resonance. Nice. Let's try the high pass. Medium resonance. High resonance. And just for fun, let's try maximum on high pass. Yep, pretty much what we expected. We have a notch mode, which removes the energy around a selected frequency. Medium resonance. And high resonance. Notch filters are useful for creating phaser-like effects. And finally, we have a peak mode, which is the inverse of the notch. Medium resonance. And high resonance. Go back to low pass. Medium resonance. Now we have a couple of additional controls that were added to Atomica and to Filtomica to take advantage of the unique behavior of the Polyvox filter circuits. Filter drive is not a typical overdrive, but a unique artifact of how the Polyvox filter interacts with the power rails in the original, as well as in this modeled version. Bring it up. Sweep the filter. Starve takes advantage of a programmable op-amp hack in the original Polyvox. 
Turn it on. Turn up the resonance. You can definitely hear some interesting artifacts there. Let's try a chord. Yeah, we get this cool, unique, shimmering effect with that. Okay, reset to default, and now let's look at the modulator. For this segment, we will use Cherry Audio's Blue 3 electronic organ as a source. The modulator is simply an LFO that is hardwired to the filter frequency. Set cutoff to a nominal level. Turn up resonance. We have other LFO shapes besides the triangle. Sawtooth. Ramp. Square wave. the artifacts at the edges of the duty cycle. We have a noise waveform. And then we have sample and hold. The triangle is definitely the easiest of the waveforms to use musically. Add a little starve. the bandpass mode. And peak? Turn down starve and filter drive. Now before I continue, please support this channel so that we may bring you more synthesizer tutorials and other cultural content regularly. Links to our merch store, including t-shirts and drinkware, as well as our Patreon and Ko-Fi, are in the description below. You can also support us with a super thanks right here on YouTube. Let's reset again. Ah yes, if we click up here, we get to see the credits and registration info. And now let's look at the envelope follower. This lets you use the contour of the input signal to drive the filter frequency for expressive modulation. For this feature, we're going to use Cherry Audio's Whirlybird electronic piano instrument as our source. Oh yeah! 
turn down the cutoff, turn up the resonance, and increase the envelope follower amount. Turn it up. The envelope follower is a lot of fun. You can soften the attack here, which will give it more of a scoop or wah at the start of each note. Add a little filter drive. Add a little bit of starve. Cool. Let's try with band pass. Add some filter drive. This gives us a nice, dirty, filtered electronic piano sound. The envelope also works well with peak mode. We can actually use a negative envelope amount. This will close the filter based on the volume of the input. Using a negative envelope preserves more the articulation and attack of the notes. And there you have it. For the remainder of this video, we will listen to a few of the factory presets with our Whirlybird electronic piano source.
Enjoy this look at the free Filtomica plugin. To find out more, please visit cherryaudio.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.